What's up, guys, and welcome back to another Fortnite video. So over the last couple of days, I've been getting a lot of tweets of you guys asking me to look over this Polar Peak event that is suddenly going to be occurring really, really soon in Fortnite. Over the past couple of months, I really haven't been covering Fortnite leaks and stuff how I used to like last year. I just felt like I was a little bit burnt out on it, but I've been getting so much request that I decided to do some digging and this actually looks pretty interesting. I don't know how many of you guys know about it, but I would assume some of you don't and some of you do. So I'm making this video to one, inform you guys of the possibilities that we may very well soon see a pretty intense event in Fortnite within Polar Peak. And well, for those of you that already know about it, maybe you can share some light and some additional information that you guys know. Now, before we get into any concrete evidence at the moment, I just want to say that about six months ago, I made a video about a dino print within Fortnite. Exactly right now where Polar Peak is between Polar Peak and pretty much Viking Mountain, which is kind of strange that this dino print is here. I don't know how long Fortnite really works on these crazy events for. I know they work on them for like several months, but I don't know if they work on them over like, you know, seven, eight months. I think that's a little bit too much, but who knows? This video was pretty much talking about the dino print that was within Fortnite. And this dino print pretty much made me believe that eventually dinosaurs would come into Fortnite. Now, keep in mind, we did get dinosaurs like in Pleasant Park and, you know, the desert area, but they weren't really dinosaurs, dinosaurs. The dinosaurs that were there and pretty much the only dinosaurs we ever got in Fortnite were just pretty much decorations. And me personally, I was a little bit bummed out, but I think that this time around, Polar Peak is hiding something really, really crazy. For those of you that play on the regular, you know that Polar Peak has officially cracked and it is a pretty significant crack. And we all know that eventually that ice is gonna come falling down. We're gonna see the entirety of the castle and whatever else lies beyond the castle. It all started during the volcano event that came from season eight to season nine. Obviously, uh, a lot, a lot of destruction happened towards the end of season eight. And one of the major POIs that got hit was a polar peak. It didn't get destroyed, but of course the ice is so strong that it just dented it. And over the last couple of weeks, it's been cracking and cracking. A lot of people have been playing and strangely experiencing some shakes within polar peak. And some people actually have heard weird wind sounds coming from the iceberg. And of course, this is us to speculate that is probably coming within the actual iceberg, which is what's going to be a possible huge new event in Fortnite. Now, if you guys recall when the iceberg arrived in Fortnite, later on as the weeks passed by within that season, which I believe was season six or season seven, I don't remember right now, but when the iceberg arrived, a couple of weeks went by and then we started discovering dinosaur eggs inside the iceberg somewhere beneath the castle then we thought okay well now we're definitely gonna get some sort of dragons or dinosaurs or something and then season eight came out and then okay well they were probably the the eggs that made hybrid because that was one of the battle pass skins for season eight which was hybrid and he was some sort of dinosaur type lizard hybrid i mean you know hence the name hybrid so then we we're like all right maybe the eggs were literally just hybrid eggs and that's why we have a brand new hybrid skin but now it looks like there is possibly another twist. And if you really start connecting all of these little clues, and even though they have nothing to do with one another, maybe they do, maybe they don't, but like the huge dino print, and now this huge thing happening within Polar Peak, which by the way, I'm gonna get into it in a second. We know Fortnite does a lot of collaborations. It all started with Marvel last year and the Thanos mode, and then we brought it back again now this year with the Endgame LTM, and then we had John Wick. It looks like Fortnite is collaborating with a lot and a lot and a lot more movies. And I feel like not only Fortnite is seeing this success, but the movies are also seeing the success that it brings doing collaborations with, you know, a game that is so popular. So it looks like this time around, we may actually be getting a Godzilla King of Monsters collaboration event with Fortnite and the movie itself, Godzilla King of Monsters. Putting everything aside like Polar Peak and the hybrid eggs that were under the castle, we actually have images and leaked files that may be hinting that this is indeed going to happen and if it does happen it's going to be sooner than later because godzilla comes out may 31st i believe or may 30 but it's literally like next week so we may actually be seeing something really really soon now before we get into the actual audio files i want to give you guys some reference here like in season eight going to season nine when the volcano erupted this is pretty much the image here now on screen is a comparison image of godzilla king of monsters where the volcano is erupting and then behind the volcano you have one of the monsters 
from Godzilla. If we go into the in-game files provided by Happy Power, I'm going to play it here and just take a listen to this really quickly. Look, I don't want to sit here and say it's going to happen 100%. It's Godzilla, you know, Fortnite event LTM collaboration. It may very well not be, but everything is literally hinting towards it to be this. A lot of people, or not a lot, but some people believe that it may not happen because Godzilla is already doing an event with PUBG. But if I'm being completely honest, I, I don't think that has anything to do with Fortnite or or Godzilla. I don't think that'll affect them. I don't think PUBG has anything against Fortnite or vice versa. I think Godzilla can do whatever the hell they want. And if they want to collaborate with another company or another video game, I'm pretty sure that if they really want to do it and both parties agree, they'll do it. I don't think there's some type of contract that says you can only collaborate with one video game. You know, I mean, Fortnite literally is the biggest video game right now. I know some people think it's a little bit of a bad taste in their mouth when we get so many events and you know collaborations back to back, but I'm all for keeping the game fresh and having new things to explore and play. Um, also, at the time of me recording this, there hasn't been any announcement for the next week update, so we may very well just probably get a later update this week that could have a possible new LTM collaboration, which is pretty much what happened with John Wick. According to Google, I've confirmed that the movie comes out the 31st. So if there's an update on Wednesday or Thursday, we may actually get the LTM on Thursday and, you know, to promote the movie that comes out the day after. I don't know. But eventually I know for a fact that there will be some sort of dinosaur slash dragon hidden within Polar Peak. And, and I think it's going to be something refreshing and something cool to have in the game. But I do believe that this will be the perfect opportunity for them to do it right now with the brand new Godzilla movie. I know a lot of you guys have been requesting me to do this video and give you guys my thoughts. I, I my thoughts, opinions, personally, I think it'd be super, super sick. I think something is definitely going to happen and eventually we will get Greasy Grove back. I know there's a lot of people asking, well, what's going to happen with Greasy Grove? If you actually go to Greasy Grove and you start digging up the house roofs and stuff like that, you can go inside the shops, open some doors. There's still chest active and that pretty much just resembles that Greasy Grove is just pretty much on hold right now, but I don't think it's going anywhere. I think it's frozen and eventually we'll see, you know, Greasy again. Who knows? Anyways, that's my opinion on this possible new event coming into Fortnite, Godzilla, and Fortnite crossover. What do you guys think? Do you think it's actually a movie crossover? Or do you think we're still going to get some sort of huge monster within Polar Peak, but it'll be something else? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, if you did, leave it a like.